Hello, Minister Leche. Um, good afternoon. I have two parts of the question. Part one is, in spite of the mediation, uh, the talks, they, they seem to be failed, they are failing. What if the unions, uh, they went ahead with the strikes in November? Because uh, you came up with a plan of catch up with the payments. So what if they go on a longer strike? What is the government's plan? Part two, uh, being a media channel, we heard and we got many complaints from the parents that many of the time, some teachers in the schools, they try to influence the kids. They tell them, this political party is good, this is not good. So do we have any code of conduct for the teachers? Mm -hmm. If any parents want to make any complaint, because we don't want the kids, the young minds to be influenced by the uh, these some kind of teachers, they, they influence, they tell uh, the students, what is the code of conduct on that? Thank you. Thank you, Nitin. And I promise you, I'm not gonna sing today. Uh, I'll leave that up to the champion over there, uh, Graham McGregor, but, um, Okay, so first question related to um, related to if the strikes, if the union tries to impose a strike, uh, I think I have been abundantly clear. The premier has been so clear on this. Kids are going to stay in school. Kids are going to stay in school. They have an obligation to be in school. They deserve to be there with their teachers learning the curriculum. If we can't agree on a problem of historic learning loss kids falling back on math and reading and writing, mental health, physical health, emotional challenges. If we can agree today, and there's something wrong with society, if we can accept a premise that kids have to come first in this debate. Now we know that, parents know that. I'm urging the union to accept that and work with us, never leave the table. So I wanna just commit to you that we will fight to keep kids in school, We'll work hard to ensure children remain in front of their educators learning the curriculum and learning the basics uh not learning uh an educator's ideological interests to your second question because this isn't about their values it's about teaching the curriculum uh, i hear concerns about this often and i want to be abundantly clear uh, for families out there my expectation of our teachers is that they are passionate ambitious individuals that really provide maximum support and inspire these kids to be bold. I want them to teach the curriculum because the focus of our curriculum is the basics of reading, writing, and math. It's learning real skill sets that are gonna help them in life, get a good job, and ultimately graduate from our schools. And so when there are challenges that arise where there's demonstrable, there's clear biases coming into the classroom, the Ontario College of Teachers, of course, is the regulator that oversees that body, and they have the ability to investigate where there are examples of this. Of course, the school boards themselves are the first stop for a parent to communicate concerns, but my expectation is clear. Teach the curriculum, teach the fundamentals, leave the politics for the home. I know parents, uh, you know, uh, they're a primary educator in the life of a child, and I know that they want... Uh, their kids to go to school to learn skills. And then at home, in part, they also learn their values. Don't get me wrong, in our education system, we build out positive values, inclusive values in our schools. We echo that in the curriculum, but it isn't designed to be some ideological, you know, uh, imposing one's individual values on the class. That's actually not what school's about. It's not about imposing some opinion. It's about building the capacity in young people to have their own, to think critically to challenge assumptions. So uh, it's it's gotta be more of the latter. And unfortunately for your example, it's sometimes the former. And so we have to work against that. And I just want families to know we will. Thank you, Minister.